Hey everyone, it's Max here from Reptile Fanatics. So, back with our Whistling Tree Frog Tadpoles. Now, if it's frog season, you know that tadpoles are going to be everywhere. Whether you're buying them from the pet store, collecting them from your local creek or pond, or maybe you breed frogs yourself. Tadpoles are a super cool learning experience for kids, for adults, for breeders, for keepers. Uh, really, really amazing to see the life cycle from tadpole all the way through to the froglet stage. Now, feeding your tadpoles is super, super simple. You just need, obviously, water with oxygen weed, or I've got some java moss here. Now, they love uh, fish flakes, they love broccoli. I've just got done pre-cooked frozen broccoli, and they will get to it when they can, but already you can see them swimming around. You can also give them carrot, so raw carrot or boiled carrot. You can give them, uh, like, natural aquatic plants. They'll generally eat everything. They'll also generally eat waste. Um, even small insects, like really, really tiny white worms or microworms, they will have a go. Now remember, give them heaps of options for food, otherwise they will become carnivorous and they will potentially start eating each other, especially the bigger ones, they'll prey on the smaller ones. There's four little whistling tree frog tadpoles in here. They're almost, those bigger ones are almost full size, which is amazing. These guys are super small. Anyway, 30 minutes later, they're all over the broccoli. These two guys are chomping at them. Now, it may look like they're struggling, but as the broccoli softens over time, they will start breaking pieces off. They'll be getting all that good nutrition, getting them nice and fat, and hopefully those legs coming start coming soon. Now, if you like what I'm doing, like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, and it supports me, and I keep pumping out this content. Otherwise, I'm Max. I love reptiles, amphibians. Stay tuned for the next one.